Hello everyone and welcome to our interview of Terra Rays. Today we are joined by Jo Marie, the leading lady. How are you doing? Are you comfy? Are you ready? I'm comfy, a little bit cold, so I have brought my coffee. Nice. And most importantly, are you excited for Medal for Africa? Devin, I would totally be lying if I said no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I have asked you here today to represent Terrace and I've got a couple of questions so that people can learn more about the band. Terrace is a fairly new band, they started last year, but all the members have lots of experience, all been in previous yes. bands and so first thing, how would you describe the music from Terrace? Death metal. Death metal. <laughs> Death metal. So I've actually heard um, a lot of interesting phrases being used, um, like jazzy bits, um, and that's obviously, you know, referencing maybe some of the technical parts. Um, we've got some thrashy riffs here or there, but at the end of the day, it's death metal. Um, you're going to pick up some uh, old school death metal influences as well. Um, but I feel we do put a, uh, ultimately, a modern touch uh, onto it as well. Oh, that's very nice. Yes, I do love my death metal. I have been listening to your latest album. But we'll get on to the album uh, in a bit. Um, so, let's start off with you. You've previously been in three bands. The first time I personally saw you was... Oh, on stage uh, was with Junkyard Lipstick. I absolutely yeah. love that. But you've also been in Bloodbath and Testosterone. And That's right. Yeah, so how has uh, your previous band experiences affected your taste in music? Or has you know, it? It's, and it's, so how? it's actually not affected my taste so much as it has affected my style of vocals. So it's actually shown me what I can do best and how to do it. And speaking of your best, what is your best quality? What I'm doing now with Terra Rays. Um, and the stepping stone was actually, believe it or not, with Bloodbath because the Bloodbath covers forced me to reach that tone and that level of lows and depths um, and when I was practicing for that I also did some cannibal corpse representing nice. <laughs> and some decapitated and I had to learn how to sing to drop B and drop A tuning and um, yeah, with that, I kind of developed a new style of growling. And now with, with Terror Rays, I can really explore that. And I'm at a very comfortable level of maintaining that. So I do feel that I'm at this very moment uh, delivering the best, or as you've, you've mentioned, quality um, to date. Oh, that's really impressive. Um, and moving on to the other members, on guitar we have Christian, who, or Chris, who also does some of the composing and backing vocals. Uh, he is quite young, but he's already racked up a lot of uh, band experience. Uh, he's yes. played for um, Melancholic yes. um, and Beyond Sanity, and currently also plays for Dredge the Leaf, Jolly Wankers, and Clown Autops. <laughs> I was trying yes. my best not to laugh when I said that, and I <laughs> sort of failed. Johnny Bankers is a punk band, actually. Yeah, Chris is a very busy guy. He's a yeah. very busy guy. And he's a phenomenal guitarist. So I'm very, very thankful to be able to work with him. So a very important question. If Chris flipped a coin, would it come up as head or tails? Well, I'm going to pass it back to you. Which side is the lucky side? Which side do you find to be the lucky side? Ooh, you're not supposed to point your <laughs> questions back at the interviewer. Um, I personally, I prefer 
my instinct is hates just because it's alphabetically. I wanted to say the same thing. So I'm going to go and say if Chris would be a coin flip, he would have to be hates. Okay. The lucky I, I, I am actually going to test it out. We're going to get Chris on the day to flip a coin and we're going to see how if we are right or not. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, At M4A. Yes, definitely. And we, the other two members, we have the founding, uh, one of the founding members, Hi. He's been in Nerve Zero, Arm to Disarm, Phalanx, Beard, and Blue Metal. Yeah. And I'll get on to the founding part a bit later with um, Moritz. But if Hein was an animal, what animal do you think he would be? Definitely, when uh, when I think of that question, my mind immediately goes to a lion, um, because you know the whole part of a pride. Mm -hmm. um, Hein is very, in terms of band orientation, he's family orientated, and for him being in a band also means being part of a family. And also because Hein absolutely does have a lion mindset. He is determined to achieve. So yeah, a lion. Love through that answer. Um, as I was saying, the other uh, family member is Moritz. He's also a composer of the band and set a beat for Southern Death Culture in the past. Yeah. But now, if Moritz was a brand, what would his motto be? Shame beast. <laughs> <laughs> you might recognize that from the back of our t-shirts as well i do that uh, <laughs> amazing answer um so yeah as i said both hein and moritz were the founders do you know how yes. the band started and how did you yes. all find each other and come become yes. a part so actually hein is originally from from joburg and he moved down to Cape Town, formed another band, um, but the drummer at that stage wasn't able to keep up with the double bass and left. And that's when Hein found Moritz. Um, at that point though, they, um, interestingly enough, also had a female singer, but she did clean vocals. Um, Moritz then declined the offer um, because that's just uh, not his style. He's very honest about what he likes and what he dislikes. So declined Hein's offer at that point. Um, Hein then went back to Moritz and said, okay, so let's start a death metal band. And he got Moritz, Moritz's attention straight away. And that's how they then formed uh, Terror Rays. Um, Moritz already knew Christian and that's how he brought in Christian uh, on guitar and um, then they wrote the album and they got in Brandon Sheriff on vocals for the recording so um, it's actually not me doing vocals on Frozen Hell that is Brandon Sheriff um, who then left after the album was completed I then auditioned. I actually saw um, ads going around on Facebook um, and I contacted Hein and I said, hey, I'm Joe, this is who I am, this is my resume. I see you guys are looking for a vocalist. And he said, yeah, yeah, send me some stuff. And I gave him a few links and he said, I like what I hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I went over there on the 5th of March did my audition, got the part, and um, yeah, the rest is history. We had our first gig on the 6th of May, and uh, that's Terrorize. Yeah, um, you mentioned the album uh, Frozen Howl, that actually was it was released quite uh, recently in May-ish? On the 1st. Yeah, on the 1st yeah, of May. On the 1st. Um, is the, I assume that album, people can get their hands on it at M4A. Um, it's actually on all the streaming platforms, but we did not do physical copies. Um, so people can listen to it wherever 
um, Spotify, Apple iTunes, YouTube, Amazon Music, Bandcamp. Um, unfortunately, we won't have physical copies at uh, Metal for Africa. Or the easiest would be to just go and hyper follow Terry Rays, and that will take you directly to all of the streaming links. That's nice. Um, and do you know what people's reactions have been to the album? Yes, I do go and look. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we've actually had um, some overwhelmingly positive responses to the album, um, particularly being compared to really big bands uh, like Dying Fetus, which is an extremely big compliment. Um, and uh, the, the words that pop up often is heavy, brutal and groovy um those are the words that, that kind of uh, you know is mentioned a lot um there's also been uh, good feedback people saying that uh, or speaking about the diversity of the album which is also nice to hear you know that people don't find it monotonous or repetitive that's always a good thing um so yeah, people think it's brutal and they think it's diverse. Uh, I think that's great. Awesome. So if you are interested in hearing Terror Rays, go check them out on the various sections. We'll have all the info down below. And if you want to see them live though, they'll be playing at Metal for Africa happening on the 29th of July in South Africa. All details can be found below to buy tickets, etc. And Apart from playing, is there anything you are looking forward to? Like, what are you looking forward to the most at Metal for Africa? First and foremost, being part of it, right? I mean, we're brand new. Our album came out, or our debut album came out on the 1st of May. We played our very first gig on the 6th of May. Here we are three months later on the Metal for Africa lineup. So. It's um, a real honor. Um, and then with that, sharing a stage with other bands that, that we look up to. And then playing at five o'clock, of course, starting the party. So yeah, that's three pretty good reasons, I think. Nice. Um, before we sign off, anything you want to tell our viewers? Yes, please. Um, we will be bringing some merch to the fest. Um, our Frozen Hell t-shirts will be there at the stalls. Um, and then to the view viewers who are still deciding whether to go or not to go, just do it. <laughs> Buy a ticket and go. You will not regret it. Take it from me. I have gone every single year, unless there's an emergency or I am being tattooed because I've overbooked myself. Um, you will not be disappointed, not in the lineup, not in the people who attended, not in the merch, not in the stalls. It's totally worth it, especially for the price. Just do it. Yeah, I absolutely love the environment that happens at Middle of Africa. Ah, it's always um, a place for friendship and metal totally sums it up perfectly yes thank you so much joe for joining me uh come check out terror race at middle of africa again 29th of july uh, they will be the opening band we'll see you all there at middle of africa cheers thanks david thank you for having me it's a pleasure joe <laughs>